Hi guys, today I'm back to film my September favorites. Um, I've said it a million one times, I'll say it again, I'm sorry, but I didn't really wear a lot of makeup in September and I feel like that's kind of how it's been the last couple months. I haven't really been wearing that much makeup, but September was really bad because I wasn't working for part of the month, so I wasn't really wearing a lot of makeup then. Um, so a lot of this stuff is just kind of favorites and stuff that I have been using when I wear makeup or just little things from trying stuff out because I've kind of been going through my collection a little bit and just wearing everything just you know kind of going back through and making sure that you know I did a good job with my declutter and I'm pretty happy to say that I think I did a good job with my declutter and I like pretty much everything that I've kept and I'm happy with everything that I've kept. Um, I know there were some changes to my eyeshadow palettes I got rid of a few more but nothing really big. Um, but anyways I'm going to start with kind of a random little tip then go into favorites and then on favorites. Um, so kind of just starting right away with the tip. These two together, if you have dry skin, I feel like would probably be really amazing. So I'm not going to lie. Once I sit down to do my makeup, I'm pretty lazy. I want to just, I just want to sit here and do my makeup. Like I don't want to get up again. This is like my own little personal bubble. And it's like, nobody can talk to me while I'm in this bubble. Like just let me do my thing. Um, but if I sit down and decide I want to use a makeup sponge, I have to get up and go to the bathroom and wet my sponge. And then the chances that I get to sit back down and actually do my makeup in peace are pretty slim. Sometimes I can get up and, you know, do my, you know, get my sponge wet and I'm fine. But there are some times where it's like, I can't, I can't do that. I just need to sit here. So, and then there's times where I'm just too lazy to do that. And that's kind of how September was. I was just a little too lazy to get up and go get wet my sponge and then come back. One day I decided I wanted to use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and I wanted to use my Real Technique sponge. And instead of doing like a makeup setting spray or anything like that, I decided to use my Mario Badescu. This is the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. Um, this is kind of just, if you don't know, I feel like most people do know, this is just kind of a moisturizing facial spray. Um, and I have oily skin, so it's not really something that I use that often, but as we can see I've almost finished off this bottle. Um, and kind of this tip is kind of why. So I tried it a couple times, this tip, so I can say that I've gotten this result quite a few times. But like I said, I was using it with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, and that foundation is just super matte. It dries down very quickly. You don't even really need a set up setting powder with it because it's so matte, but I mean, I still do just because I'm super oily. But when I used these two with that Maybelline foundation, you would think that I bought the Dewy Skin one because my skin was just super dewy. And I mean, if I had dry skin, I would have been like ecstatic. I was amazed like how dewy it was. And it wasn't a bad dewy, like it looks overly greasy or my face just looked like super wet. It was just like the right amount of dewiness where it just looks like a nice healthy, you know, like glow and stuff to your skin. So I was really surprised and it's, I think a really great tip. So if it's something that you have like dry skin, you wanna try this out, Please let me know how it goes for you because like I said I've tried it a couple times a couple different foundations and it seems to be pretty similar effect. The only ones that have not had a similar effect have been like mousse foundations which yeah like I you know I expect that I guess with mousse foundations but with most like liquid foundations this tip works really well. So I mean that's really all I did was just wet my makeup sponge with this just did a couple sprays just kind of squeezed it to distribute the spray throughout the sponge and then just stippled it on like I normally do. So, and I'm sure it doesn't have to be the Real Technique sponge. It probably could be the Beauty Blender or whatever. I have both. I didn't try it with the Beauty Blender. I just tried it with this because this sponge has kind of been a favorite lately. I've just really loved this one. Um, this is the one I always use with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, just the flat tip. I just find that it works, in my opinion, a lot nicer than the Beauty Blender, even though I do really like the Beauty Blender too. But like I said, just a little tip, like if you have dry skin, maybe try this out and let me know how well it works for you because I was really surprised how dewy it was. I always just put powder on top though, so like the dewiness was gone after I put powder on, but it seemed to stay pretty dewy too, so. Now on to my actual favorites. This first favorite is on my Sephora Play Box, which I think I mentioned in my empties, which I don't know which one's going up first, but I did cancel my Sephora Play Box. Just for the time being, I'll come back to it because I personally really like it. Um, I like that if I actually enjoy a product, I know where to get it, but this was in there and I love living proof stuff like what I've tried, but I sometimes feel like the products are the same product, just renamed something and repackaged. Um, I had that problem with, I'm trying to think, I don't remember what two it was, but 
there was just two products that I was like they just seem the same and I don't really need two products that do the same thing this is the living proof perfect hair day nightcap overnight perfecter this is just kind of like it's kind of almost like a leave-on mask for your hair and I think most of the time people think like leave-in conditioners and then there's like deep conditioners and like leave-in conditioners obviously like you spray them in your hair and you just leave them in and then when you take a shower it like washes out and then you put more in and then deep conditioners you just use in place of your regular conditioners most of the time and it's just like shampoo and then deep condition and then rinse it out right away in the shower and this I feel like it's not really a leave-in conditioner and it's not a deep conditioner I mean I think you could kind of argue that it's a leave-in conditioner but but this is something that I like to put it in leave it for a little bit and then wash it out um, like it says overnight or I know I do it like sometimes I'll come home from work put it in at like five o'clock and I'll take a shower at like eight so I'll leave it in for like a few hours but it makes my hair feel very very soft and that's one of the things I love about living proof products is that they always make my hair just feel so incredibly soft um, I mean the fact that Jennifer Aniston is like the spokesperson and the owner of this company like doesn't help because she always has had hair that I've wanted ever since I was in fifth grade I have like pictures from sixth grade of somebody that tried to give me the Rachel haircut and it is so bad. Just so bad. We're not even gonna, we're just gonna ignore that. But like I said, it just makes my hair feel super, super soft. And I mean, my hair being bleached, it just, it misses that. It needs it. Um, because bleaching your hair, it can make it feel very dry and kind of straw-like. So to have the softness and the luster and the shine back into it is just so nice because like I said, being super blonde, bleaching it, you just kind of tend to lose those things. And I've noticed that people that have like brunette hair, their hair tends to be a lot more shiny than people that have blonde. And this is just that nice product to me that adds that stuff back in. Um, I'm not gonna lie though, I am really looking forward to coloring my hair and going closer to my natural color with it because I kind of want some more shine <laughs> than what I'm getting, even though I, this does work really well. I just, as much as I like it, I still don't know if I'd repurchase it, but I have to say it has been a favorite this month. This I purchased in September and used it in September and, you know, I've been using it still. It's actually what I have on today. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte. This is actually the BB cream. And as you can see, it's just a little like baby size. Um, when I was working at Walgreens, they had these little ones and they only had three colors in the little baby size. So I have the color light, but there is a fair shade. I just have a ton of foundation mixer mixed in with mine, but it's kind of a good thing I purchased the light because um, I believe next week I'm going to be filming the how I did my makeup in high school challenge. And the fact that this is too dark is like perfect because in high school, I mean, there's just no foundation matching. Like it wasn't a thing. There's like five colors of every foundation and that was it. And I, I'm making myself sound like high school was that so, like so long ago and it really like wasn't. Like I'm turning 25 in a couple weeks. So I mean it was a while ago but it wasn't that long ago so I don't know. I'm making it sound like it was like 20 years ago. But that's kind of besides the point. Um, I tried this. I hated it. And then I was like and that was when I was working at Ulta. And then working at Walgreens more and more reviews came out and they came out from the people that I really trust their foundation reviews um like that Taylor um trying to think of who else it might have been Raw Beauty Christy there's been a couple people that I just really love their foundation reviews and their foundation re recommendations have always been fantastic for me so I was like okay you know if they're saying that this is really good I need to give it another shot and I'm glad I did because I think the week that I tested this I was it was really hot my like no makeup that I wore that week was like staying on like it was just all sweating off my face and I think that was like August or July but yeah it just was not was not working for me then tried it again now and I really really like it so I have to say I do kind of agree with all the hype on this one I think it is a really nice matte BB cream um, and it actually has pretty good coverage I have a breakout like right here and I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. It kind of peeks through. Like I could put concealer on it and it would be completely concealed. But like for the most part, I just am fine with this. Like I really don't care that it's peeking out a little bit. Like it's not that bad. It's not super, super red. 
it's just kind of a little like if I had no makeup on you would like see it but it's it's not that big of a deal bad thing is it's from covergirl so it's not cruelty free and stuff but like I said there's been a lot of hype about this lately and I just kind of had to give it another shot so I have liked this and enjoyed it um, once I finish this little tube I'll probably go get one in fair um, just kind of depending on where my foundation collection is at if I keep my numbers down I'll go get this but if I start to accumulate too many foundations I'll wait a little while even though I do really like this and I think it's just really great for day to day so I want to say about the middle of September I knew that I was going to be starting at my new job I was going to be working at a bank not in cosmetics anymore so I was like okay like you know I have a crazy makeup collection I have some really crazy colors so let's just get that kind of out of the way now and let me wear those and you know that way when like I work during the week I can wear like more modest makeup and then you know I'll just have to save the more colorful things for weekends and days off and stuff so I kind of had a little like two weeks where I was like okay like I'm gonna pull up my vice palettes because these are like the most colorful palettes I own and even then I think I some of these I could probably still wear to work because they're jewel tones so they are a little bit more I don't know what to say. I don't want to say on the wearable side because everything is like wearable but they are just a little more appropriate maybe for like a work environment because they're jewel toned or more professional work environment I don't know I don't know what the words I want exactly are um just because I don't want to like offend anybody or anything but anyways I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell but this color right here habit has pan showing on it and that definitely did not have pan showing on it when I started wearing this palette for the month it's just my absolute favorite color like I know everybody talks about like makeup geek peach smoothie and like all those wonderful transition colors but this one in habit is mine there it is on my finger it really doesn't look like anything special and at least in the viewfinder it looks like it's the same color as my skin but it's not it's you know like dark enough that I can tell that it's not my skin tone and that I can use it just in the crease um, one of my favorite things to do with this color actually is to throw like Urban Decay Virgin or MAC Naked Lunch on the lid. Throw this in the crease because it's like just slightly dark enough to offer like a little bit of definition to my crease but it's not super dark like what I have on today where it's like it's noticeably darker in the crease and stuff. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's just the perfect like transition color. It's the perfect like more natural crease color. I just love it. I've fallen in love with it. I'm sad because it's my vice palette so it's obviously like a limited color like they don't make the, the permanent line um, but like I said I'm sure Makeup Geek has something similar because I'm kind of looking at this and like from what I've seen of Peach Smoothie and some of the other colors it looks like this would be pretty close so that makes me feel like hopeful that I'll be able to find a dupe somewhere but the vice 2 palette I used it a lot this month and some of the colors I just really wasn't in love with. I know in one of my videos I have um, the pink colors and the purples on my eyes so I have like these two down here and I had a couple of the purple colors on my eyes too. I don't remember what video that was exactly I'd have to look back but um, I know I have like a more purple lip on and that kind of thing and it's pretty but they're not really my favorite so I am kind of seeing that I don't love all the shadows in this palette but most of them are pretty good. It's just that Habit was an absolute like diehard favorite this month because obviously I hit pan and stuff so that has been a huge favorite this month. For my next favorite this is the Tarte Tarte Lip Blush in Celebrated. I've talked about this before as being like my holy grail blush. I mean it kind of it just really kind of is. Um, I've even considered picking up a backup because I love this blush so much and I don't want it to get like discontinued or anything because we all know how that feels when you fall in love with a beauty product and it's limited edition or it's discontinued and you cannot get it again. It's just like it's heartbreaking because you love that product so much. And that's how I feel about this blush. This just goes so well with everything. I just, I can't. It doesn't even seem like it would be anything special. I mean there's a little swatch of it there on my finger but for some reason it just oh, I actually just hit pan when I did that little swatch you can just see that little spot of pan that kind of makes me sad <laughs> even more sad but anyways obviously it was a favorite if I was that close to hitting pan that I swatched it and a tiny little bit of pan started showing but this is just like I said such a great blush it goes with so many different things and since I was wearing this really colorful palette I just wanted a nice blush that was gonna look good with everything and I haven't worn this blush for a while. I just have been reaching for other things, just kind of going through my collection, wearing my blushes and stuff. And I kind of just forgot about this one. And it's just so good that I'm like, see, 
this is why this is your favorite blush because it is just so good and every time I pull it out it becomes a favorite and I fall in love with it all over again. So like I said this is the Tarte blush in Celebrated. Might be picking up a back cup sometime soon especially since I hit pan. So my next favorite is another product that I've hit pan on this month. Apparently all my favorites I've hit pan on this month. I don't know why. Um, but this is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination in Fair. Um, I was using my Ulta Loose, you know, powder, mineral powder foundation, and it was in my favorites once, and then I could have easily included it the second month, and I might have included it in the second month, but, like, I've just been so into powder foundations for the last, like, three or four months. So, they've been in my favorites, or if I haven't put them in my favorites, they've been a favorite because I've already talked about them, but anyways, I decided to switch from the Ulta one to my cosmetics one just to give my Ulta one a break, and then I ended up hitting pan on the It Cosmetics one. And as you can see, I have a lot of pan showing on it now, but at first, like, I don't know, first couple weeks I hit pan, it was just a little bit, and as time went on, the pan grew and I kept using it, and then I was like, okay, I feel like I've used a really big chunk of it now, like I need to kind of pull back and use some other things. But, I mean, I've talked about this foundation before too, it has really fantastic coverage, it has the same, like, beautiful luminosity to it that... I don't normally expect from powder foundations, I expect that more from liquids, but for some reason they just, this one and the Ulta one, have beautiful like sheen to them. It's just, they're so glowy and pretty, so if you have more oily skin and you want a more glowy foundation, this would be a really good way to go because it's fantastic and like I said, really great coverage. So this obviously was a big favorite this last month. But lastly, we are on to my unfavorite. I only have one unfavorite this month. Um, I mean, I've had a few things that I haven't been, like, in love with, but nothing that I would really consider an unfavorite. But the ColourPop Liquid Lipsticks. I mentioned before, I'm going through all my lip products and trying to wear them once before I declutter them. I still have so many to go, and I've already went through so many, and it's just kind of frustrating. But the ColourPop ones, I kind of avoided them for a while, and then I was like, okay, like, it's, you know, I gotta wear the ColourPop ones. So I have here Bumble, which Bumble is actually fine, um, and then these two little mini ones were from a set last year around Christmas time. I was looking for one other color, but I can't find it. Um, this one is Times Square, this one is Be Merry, and the other one I was looking for is Bianca, which Bianca is my favorite. I've actually, I used to not like that color, I felt like I couldn't wear it, and now, I don't know, the last couple times I've worn it, I was like, I really like this color and I feel like I can wear it. Um, but I don't know, for some reason, and even the formula with Bianca, these ones are just not, like, they're not that good. So the big problem I've been having with these is that they tend to really gather in the corners of my mouth. The color does a little bit, and then, like, you know, obviously the product does. And it tends to just be very messy when it gathers there, because when I smile, it tends to get on my teeth and stuff. And I mean, I'm talking to customers most of the time. Um, I have had to like sit and do computer training, so if I'm just sitting and doing computer training and I wear one of these, I'm fine because I don't really have to like talk or anything. But if I'm talking to customers, it's just like this for some reason is so messy. And I'm like, liquid lipsticks, I can almost always count on them to be like budge proof and to be like the one lip product that I know is not going to get on my like teeth and stuff and just be a mess. And for some reason, this formula, not like that. For some reason though too, the other thing that's been happening is the formula with these has gotten really, really thick. So I just think the formula is changing and I'm gonna have to throw these out. Um, I have Bumble and I have another one of these that I got before I got these minis. And the formula is fine. And I think it's just because the formula with these are seems to be a little more runny. And I wanna say this is like when they, around the time that they like changed the formula and they made it like a tiny bit thicker and you know, tried to improve some things, made it not so dry or whatever. But now the formula is not as long lasting as it is with the full size ones. So I don't know. Um, I'm thinking that my Yanka one, I'm gonna have to like get rid of that and get the full size because I wanna say they have it in the full size now. Um, but like these ones, they're just, I don't know. Just not really liking them. Um, the colors of these two as well, I've kind of noticed that I don't love them as much. This one turns out to be almost red on me, even though it looks pink. And then Times Square is just like a little too brown, so I haven't been liking it as much lately. It's kind of something I've noticed this year is that I have not been in love with brown lips as much as I was last year. This year it's like everything needs to be nude. I just want all good nude lipsticks. I don't know, it might be part of working in a bank now, I don't know what it is, but 
both of these colors too I just like I said have not been very drawn to um I wore Bumble the other day and it's definitely not a nude but it was actually pretty nice and it was kind of nice more like fall appropriate color so Bumble I still like you know some of my older ones I still like because the formula is runnier it's drier and it tends to stay in place better and it still seems like it's really good Whereas those, it seems like they're just, they're going bad. The formula is getting really thick and kind of goopy and I can't do much with them. So those I've been kind of sad about because I really liked Bianca color. And I think there was like another color in that pack that I really liked, but I haven't got to wear it yet. So I don't know. These, I don't know. I'm going to send them to declutter them when we get to the decluttering video. But just kind of sad because they have not really worked out for me this month. All right, so that is it for my favorites and unfavorites. Um, I want to say in one of my past videos this last week or the week before, I had kind of included a little list in the description bar of videos that are going to be upcoming. Um, I know next week I have barely any work, so I should be able to film a lot, but I have um, how I did my makeup in high school. I want to film a video of like how I wish I did my makeup in high school. And I'm trying to think of what else there was. The ride or die tag I know I wanted to get up sometime soon. Also on that note of how I'm going to be filming kind of some different videos, I'm just taking a little temporary break from declutters. Um, that way too I can try to get through my lip products really quick and, you know, finish trying them out. And then that way too we can kind of get some different content up on here because I feel like it's been declutters and project pan and not really much else. I know I have a couple of different review videos and things too that I need to get up so it's like I just kind of wanted to take a break from the declutters just to get some other things up because I did step back to two videos a week so I might kind of be stepping up to three kind of now since there's so many things I want to get like filmed and uploaded but We'll just kind of have to see. I mean, this like new job, I don't really know my hours and stuff. Like we're just kind of playing it by ear since I just started. But I mean, I can safely say that I really like my job and I really like my coworkers. So that's fantastic so far because it's been a long time since I felt the way that I feel now about working. So it's really nice. But um, thank you guys just kind of for sticking with me, being patient. Like I said, it's just been little crazy with you know what am I filming what am I uploading oh thank you guys for being supportive and being nice it's meant a lot to me especially with all this going on I feel like I'm just in a very weird transitional point in my life right now I guess but um anyways I'm kind of rambling so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time bye